elegance, grace, beauty. People come to Coopville and they just fall in love with this little storybook town. They get an ice cream, they go out on the wharf to watch the sunsets. There's sailing, there's race week, we have the muscle farm. Coopville's a very special place, a little bit of paradise. A place to slow down in this hustle bustle world. They say I'm crazy, finding an old wood boat and bringing her to town. It may be crazy for one person, but it's not crazy for a whole community. It's all volunteers, from the captain, to the crews, to the line handlers. She does need work, and she does need help and support. We offer tours and accept donations, and all those funds go to her maintenance and upgrading her system. She's all wrapped up uh, so we can keep her dry. The decks are part of our, our maintenance and uh, repair and refit we have to do. And thanks to the volunteers, they've done a great job helping us out. This is uh, Suva's bell uh, that came with the vessel. Uh, one of my volunteers polished her up. Um, thanks to Little Bear, we have a beautiful ship's bell. Uh, we're on board the wheelhouse here. They called the dog house. Um, uh, back in the days. This was the only place to actually uh, pilot uh, Suva back uh, in 1925. I just noticed uh, an old chart here that, that's stuffed in a, one of our newer charts and, and I haven't had a chance to look at this, but this was uh, looks fairly old and it was probably uh, one of the charts they actually used uh, to navigate here uh, in, the, in the Puget Sound Sailor Sea. Power and grace in the following sea Feel her rise and roll so fine and free. A whistle and wind makes the riggin' sing. Tell me, have you seen her? The grand old lady of the sailor's sea, built in 25 for Coopville's Pratt family. A windy way to spend a special day. Lovely schooner, Suva. It's a wonderful weekend, a little breezy today. Wish we were out sailing. We're here today with our tender in this booth. We're going to bring the booth around uh, to different events. It's all supporting Suva. We have a donation box. If you see us at, at an event, uh, please come visit. We'll tell you a bit about Suva and her history. Uh, she'll be open for tour um, all summer long. We have many festivals and we have visitors from all over the world. They take pictures of the sea. They take pictures of the wharf. They take pictures of the boats. We have a a yacht race week here. Places packed with people taking pictures of the sailing vessels. It has to do with someone's vision. And Mark Saya had the vision and knew enough to look for a historic vessel. And he found this exact vessel for sale in Port Townsend. We feel like it's come home. Um, it's become so much part of the community and in the short time it's been here, people love to walk down to the wharf to see her, to take a look, to sail on her. Um, we're very excited to have her here. We've sort of turned our back a little bit on, on our maritime heritage. And uh, it just recently, um, we've started rediscovering that and what's out there in the water and what's been there in the water. And uh, so it's uh, really exciting to me as a historian that the uh, Coopville Maritime Heritage Foundation has taken the steps to bring the Suva back home to her home port. If you come to Woodby Island, if you want to experience a step back in time, a Gadsby style era, and go on a one of a kind vessel, come down to Coopville. You donate not just to be on board Suva and go for a sail, but to connect again with nature and the sea. We came from the sea, we've explored this planet on boats, and Suva is that missing link to bring us back to our maritime heritage.
Connect the past to the future by joining the Coopville Maritime Heritage Foundation and keep Schooner Suva sailing into the next generation.